If your FTC team uses the REV digital lead indicator, you need to program it properly. Properly programmed lead indicator can eliminate confusion and give your drivers instant feedback on some key robot states, especially during an intense end game. I'm Coach Pratt, and I've been teaching robotics and design for over a decade. As a coach of national champion Inspire Award winning FTC teams, I've seen firsthand how some of these small communication details can make or break a match. In this video, I'm going to run you through the steps for wiring the rev LED indicator and writing the Java code to control it. We'll start by setting up the hardware, then we'll move into some practical examples that you can use right away in your own robot. So let's talk about wiring and configuring up your rev LED indicator. The rev LED indicator has two different LEDs on it. It's got a green LED and a red LED, and if you turn both of them on, you'll actually create a yellow light. So in our configuration, or at least wiring this thing up is pretty easy, you just have to wire it up to a digital port using the uh, included JST connector. So when we come into our configuration file, we can click on the meatball menu, choose configure robot, edit our test bench or whatever it is that you're using, come inside control hub again, come up to digital devices. And then for the rev LED, the lower of the two numbers is going to be your green LED and the higher of the two numbers is going to be your red LED. So in this case, I've put it on port zero as my LED green, and my port one is my LED red. And choose like done, done, done. We'll go ahead and save this. We'll select OK. And then we will activate our test bench. We'll go back and that's going to restart our robot. Coming up to our code here, let's go ahead and make a separate mechanisms package. Uh, this is what I always like to be able to keep our code nice and clean. And we're going to make a new Java class. We'll call this one our test bench LEDs. Inside here, we're going to make two new private variables. We're going to make a private LED called red LED. And we're going to make a, another private LED called the green LED. Then we'll be able to have some sort of initialization so we can pull this into our main code. So I make a public void called init, and we're going to call it in with a hardware map as a variable, sorry, as an argument. In this, we need to initialize our two different LEDs. So we're going to say that red LED is equal to hardware map dot get, and it's going to be the LED dot class, comma, and inside of a string, and you have the exact name that you wrote down in your a configuration file. So in my case, I called it red underscore lead. And then for green lead is going to be the exact same thing, harbor map dot get and lead dot class. And I call this one green underscore lead. Just realizing now I did not call them red underscore lead. I called it lead underscore red and lead underscore green. Now we're going to have some sort of a setter function so we can go ahead and actually set these values. So we're going to make a new public void set red lead. And we're going to take a boolean for is is on. We'll go ahead and open that up. We'll say if is on. We're going to take our red lead dot on. Else our red lead dot off. It's pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and repeat this same thing for our green lead. So I say public void set green lead. We're going to again take a boolean is on. And then we're going to say if is on a package we're going to set our green lead to on else we'll set our green lead to off and with our mechanisms file done let's actually go ahead and test this out in some actual code so let's make a new op mode here we're going to make a new Java class. We're going to call this one LED test. Our LED test is going to be extends the op mode. And of course, our op mode always needs two methods. We need a public void init. 
and we need a public void loop. So that we can uh, bring in our testing bench, we need to make a new test bench led called bench. It's going to be equal to a new test bench led. And then inside of our init method, we're going to actually initialize or call the initialization method from our bench. So we'll say bench.init and I'll call it with our hardware map so we know what hardware is actually going to go ahead and be attached. In the server loop, what we're going to do is if we press the A button, we'll turn on the green. If we press the B button, we'll turn on the red. And then if we hold both, we'll turn on the yellow. Or actually, maybe we'll just hold the Y to turn on the yellow so we can do those three different colors. So say if gamepad1.a No, I cannot find curly bracket save my life. We're going to say bench dot set red lead to on and we need to turn our other lead off. So we'll say bench dot set green lead to false else if gamepad one dot b in this case we're going to say bench dot set green lead to true and bench dot set red lead to false and then we'll say else if gamepad uh, one dot y. Oops, we need a curly bracket in there. We'll say bench dot set green lead to true, and we will also have bench dot set red lead to true. Do not forget to turn off your leads at certain points; uh, otherwise, your leads are just going to stay on. They're going to remember their previous state. So let's go ahead and have our control hub here connected with a USB C to USB A cable on my uh, computer, otherwise that won't run. And we'll go ahead and build this code. Oh, actually, before we build the code, I always forget to write this at teleop, otherwise this won't actually compile, or it will compile, but it won't actually show up on our drive. So let's go ahead and turn on the teleop, uh, and let's wait for this to compile. Okay, so we want to take a look at this rev led indicator down here. We'll go to our lead test, go to initialize, we'll run this. If we press our A button, our green turns on. We press our B button, our red turns on. We press our Y button, it ends up turning yellow. But as you can see, the yellow is not super strong. So I find I don't end up using those yellows much, but the red and green is quite useful. So I found that helpful going through a quick lead practice here. If you got any comments, things you maybe didn't understand or how you might want to use this, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer it for you. Otherwise, best of luck in the season.